So I get a lot of questions from my students who want to start social media accounts, YouTube channels, Instagram, stuff like that, around their journey. They want to make it about themselves and what they like in life and how they're evolving, losing weight, becoming great in their life. And they think that they're going to get a large audience who are really excited to root them on and watch them as they go on their journey. But my advice every single time is that nobody cares about you. People don't watch you because of your journey. People will watch you and follow you because of two things and two things only. Because you're entertaining, which means good looking, charismatic, fun, exciting, funny. Number two, because you solve a problem. And most of you, it's gonna be number two. Because most people, you're not gonna fall into that first category of being charming and charismatic. Unless you learn how to do it. But you can solve a problem for someone. Have you ever lost a lot of weight? Well then you know how to solve the problem of losing weight for people who are fat. You gotta be a problem solver. A lot of, the other thing a lot of the guys say when they watch, when they come to me is they say, well Elliot, I want, how did you do it? I wanna do what you do. You gotta remember, my channels have never, ever, 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 ever been about me. Every once in a while I'll say something about myself because it relates to a question that I receive. But remember, Elliot Hulse, yo Elliot, answers your lifting questions. You got questions about lifting? I got your answer. I solve problems. I answer questions to young men that want to build muscle, lose weight, get fit. I started a second channel where I was answering questions of young men that about, about how to go about various aspects of their life. How do I deal with my girlfriend? How do I deal with my parents? How do I deal with career? How do I deal with college, school, things of this nature? Again, not about me. It's about my market. About the people watching it. About how I can help you, how I can help them, how I can give them the answer to their problems. If you want to build an audience, you got to be an entertainer or a problem solver. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about what you're doing. I know all the vlogs that were huge a couple years ago. I don't know if they still are or not, but you know why people watch them? Because they were hyper edited with music. Cuts every two seconds. Look at what I'm doing here. Look what I'm doing there. It dazzles the mind. People are dazzled. They don't really care what that person's doing. They're excited because of the music. Music gives them feels. Hey, you want people to watch your channel? You gotta give them feelings. Every single time they come back, they gotta feel something. And it's real, it's real simple. People are easy to entertain these days. You just gotta keep them. Jump cuts, music. But it's shallow. And after a while, they get bored. And before you know it, they're on to somebody else. So once again, I give you another check in the box of be a problem solver. The only way you can be a problem solver, though, is if you are actually an expert. You actually know something. You actually know how to solve that problem. Not, I'm trying to solve the problem myself now. Not, I'm learning how to solve this problem. But, I've solved this problem. I've got the answer. I got the pill. I got the bullet. I got the way. Just follow me. Let me show you. You got to either solve that problem for yourself. I got out of debt. I got out of debt. So now I can talk to people about how I got out of debt. Not because they're interested in me, but because they want to get out of debt. I built muscle. I got a family. All these things. Not because of self-aggrandization. Not because I'm so fucking cool. Not because anybody really gives a shit about me or you, but because they can glean a little bit of insight, get a little bit of information, get a little bit of insight as to how they can do it themselves. It's always about them. The three things that you got to understand, three things that you got to master if you're going to attract a sizable audience for whatever reason. You know, a lot of you guys want to build audiences, again, just for self-aggrandization. I build audiences because I sell you stuff. You come here, you enjoy my entertainment, you enjoy my information, I answer your problems, solve your problems, answer your questions. I'm not doing it because I love you either. I'm doing it because I got an offer for you. I'm a coach. 
Join my coaching program. Buy my ebook that teaches you how to do what I'm talking about in my videos. So that's, I mean, that, before I go to these three things, I want to get that out of the way. Whether you're doing it because you want to be famous, I don't know what, because you get a lot of, because you get a blue check next to your name, I don't know. But if that's what you're up to, good, that's fine. Me, I'm a businessman. Three things, market, know who you're talking to, know what their problems are so that you know how to speak to them, which is number two. Message, what is your message? Think of your message as bait, something that makes their mouths saliva, salivate, bait that gets them to salivate, right? Something that like, yeah, I could dig that, that makes sense, I love that bait. I love that message. See, when I started out, my message was become the strongest version of yourself. That resonated with my market. I knew who my market was. Young men mostly wanted to lift. Be the strongest version of yourself makes sense to that market. Now everybody uses that phrase. So don't use that one. Don't, be the, don't teach people how to be the best version of themselves. It's played out. I stopped talking about that because I started it and played it out. Everybody else played it out after me. You don't want to be a me tour. You want to, you want to innovate, right? Create an innovative message, a brand new message, a message that no one else has ever had. It's usually going to be counterculture. Real important to be counterculture because it's a part of the entertainment factor. You can't be going the way everybody else is going. You can't have the same message everybody else has. You can't do what everybody else does because then you're just another fry in the box. Another French fry, right? Market, message. And then you think about the media. Then you think about the greatest way to deliver your market to where your, your message to where your market is. If you know where your market is and you know your message, then you use the best media to reach them. And not every market uses Instagram. Not every market is on YouTube. Some markets read, right? Some markets you might have to get off of the internet. But, you know, we're talking about the internet here. Huh? So that's it, my friends. Bottom line here is if you want to build an audience, very rarely are you going to be able to build the audience around you, your personality, your life. Most people don't care. They're not interested in you. Doesn't mean that Jesus don't love you. Doesn't mean that your mama doesn't love you. Well, most people are just way too distracted, way too interested in what's going on in their lives to give a shit about you. They don't. Don't make it about you. Make it about solving a problem. Get great at solving a problem. And then let the world know that you can solve that problem for them by using a really good message to reach them. Then, the media, the way in which you're going to deliver Inject, give away that message. Depends again on them, not you. Right? Where they at? So that's it, my friends. Lovely Monday. Here with you. Hope I solved the problem for you. <laughs>